Hey, welcome to 1500ESPN.com. I'm Derek Wetmore. This is Andrew Kramer. We're out at Winter Park. Uh, the day that the Vikings not only announced 14 roster cuts, but they also announced their starting quarterback. Uh, not terribly surprising, but Matt Castle will start week one. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater then holds the clipboard, and he'll uh, learn throughout the season. I wrote on 1500ESPN.com that I think that's a great situation, and I think that Teddy Bridgewater has performed admirably to this point. It's been just about the best of all worlds for the Vikings. We're going to talk about that real quick, but we also going to get into the cuts. Two surprising cuts to me, not not like they're world beater kind of guys, but two people that I thought maybe had a chance to make this team were cut. And then also that uh, Mike Zimmer said he found a little bit more clarity at middle linebacker. We'll speculate on what that might be. Andrew, uh, your first quick takeaway on the quarterback competition that never was. Yeah, exactly. As you said, I think it played out as expected, really. It was with Matt Castle, as Mike Zimmer said, didn't lose the job. Now, that's not necessarily the biggest vote of confidence you can give a guy. However, it's not the worst. He he did go out there and he performed. I believe the count was 26 of 39 for about 370 yards this preseason. So three games. I doubt he'll play in that fourth one against Tennessee. Usually the starters don't. So right now, that fourth game should be reserved for Teddy Bridgewater and Christian Ponder, and that will be next Thursday uh, at Tennessee. But really, it was Matt Castle's job all along. As Mike Zimmer said, he didn't lose the job. He did enough to win it. They're 3-0 in the preseason. You can't glean anything off of that in terms of how they perform in the regular season. But you saw Matt Castle in North Turner's offense, which is like his eighth offense in the past six seasons. Since, you know, he's a journeyman, the guy's been around quite a while, and especially in the teams he's been on in the past, they just overturn rosters and overturn uh, coaches. And so that's been the case with Matt. And now finally, for the first time since 2011, he'll be a starter going into a season, and he knows he has that security. So we'll get to see what uh, the 32-year-old, I believe, does heading into this year. And we have a story on 1500ESPN.com right now about the roster cuts. Andrew wrote that this morning. You can check that out. Two that stuck out to me. I know one particularly stuck out to you. Uh, Mr. Raymond, who I thought maybe had a chance to make this team, but... He got cut this morning, wasn't healthy, and also the one that I think really surprising, though, was Derek Cox, uh, the cornerback that they signed as a free agent out of San Diego after he had signed a big deal and then was shown the door from the Chargers. Uh, I thought he had a shot to make this team, Andrew, and apparently that was not the case. No, I agree with you. I was surprised to see Derek Cox cut cut this early just because he was a guy that fit this system. And talking to him coming in, he was happy to be in a press scheme system. He said no to a few other teams to come to Mike Zimmer's defense because he thought he had a shot to start. And here he's not even on the roster with 75 players. They kept guys like rookie Kendall James, cornerback Julian Posey, over Derek Cox, and they decided to move on. So I was very surprised to see that. He was about the only surprise. Mr. Raymond was a guy that just never stayed healthy, even when he was in good favor with the coaches here at Minnesota. So to see him cut this early, I guess I wasn't too surprised. He was really the odd man out in that safety group. Uh, But moving forward, the the other 12, excuse me, there weren't, Too many uh, surprises. There's one cut left they have to make before Tuesday at 3 p.m. And some people are speculating that, well, maybe it's because they want to trade Christian Ponder. Well, I'd be surprised to see them trade Christian Ponder in in the next 24 hours when that cut window is. So I think that option is always there for them to trade Christian, Mm -hmm. but I wouldn't read into them holding one cut left just for that. And don't forget, they'll have to get down to 53 the following week. So they still have 23 cuts to make basically right now. They're at 76. I mean, you could trade him at any time just exactly. just because there's an open roster yep. spot for one week that might not have any bearing. Uh, the final thing I want to talk to you about, Andrew, is the middle linebacker competition, which might be the most interesting uh, battle or the starting job mm-hmm. left. I mean, you're going to have Chad Greenway and Anthony Barr start at the two linebacker spots, but then when you're in base, you're going to have to have someone play in the middle, and we know that's going to be either Audi Cole or Jasper Brinkley. Mike Zimmer said this morning, Monday morning, that he has a feeling which way he's going to go, but he didn't give us any clues, really, from watching the team and analyzing some what they've done so far anyways. Who do you think it's going to be? I honestly think it'll be Jasper Brinkley. Jasper's taken on the first team reps since he came, uh, since he signed back with the team back this off spring, mm-hmm. offseason. Excuse me. And I think he's the guy that he's been the front runner the whole time. Audi Cole would have had to have taken the job from him. And after watching uh, just Saturday's game at Kansas City, what the two of them did, Audi Cole ended up playing more in the game. But I thought Audi Cole also had a few more bad plays on tape during the game. Now, like you said, Zimmer didn't get really specific with us Monday morning. He didn't want to get in any details from what he saw. But he said he has a good idea of who's going to start, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's Jasper. However, he wants to wait after Thursday's game to make that decision. 
I think you'll see both Jasper and Audi play, and I think that'll be the last trial run for that spot. And we've seen him in the past rotate some first team yeah. snaps. Well, they've been doing that all preseason, yeah, but so. this this Thursday game will be the last chance for them to stake a claim. Plenty of coverage on 1500ESPN.com for everything you need on the Vikings. Check out Andrew's work at the website. There's also a podcast now to go with it. Uh, we create a SoundCloud account for the Purple Podcast. You can find that at either the show page on 1500 ESPN, the homepage with the audio tab, or you can go to soundcloud.com backslash 1500 ESPN. We've got tons of Vikings podcasts up there, including one analyzing this most recent preseason game. For all of your Vikings coverage, keep checking back to 1500ESPN.com. Thanks for coming to the website. We'll see you next time.